So you wanna make money. You're maybe in technology or you're thinking about getting into tech. What are the roles? What is the way that you can make a lot of money in technology? I mean, you look at some of the richest people in the world, they're generally tech people, billionaires that have started their own company, their own technology company, or they work in technology and they've worked their way up and they're making bajillions of dollars. And you wanna know how do I do that myself? Well, I'm just gonna put it very, very bluntly. It is hard to make a lot of money in tech unless you're really, really good. Not many people make it to these sorts of levels, earning billions of dollars, driving around in Ferraris, doesn't always happen. I'm gonna be talking about five different roles, five different jobs that are trending five different jobs that will be guaranteed to make you a lot of money if you're really, 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 really good at that job. If you're not good at that job, well then you need to get better at that job because then you'll be able to make a lot more money. It's gonna be pretty hard for the average person who works in technology. Let's say you work for company A. You're a network person. You're looking after their network and you're looking after their switches and their routers and that sort of stuff. And you're making a, you're making a good salary. You know, you may be earning 100K per year. It's not bad. You know, you, you can get a nice sort of house, have a drive a nice sort of car, um, but you're not gonna be able to drive the fastest car on your neighborhood. Um, you're not gonna be able to have the biggest house on your street. Maybe you will, I don't know. You're gonna have to work very, very hard at being a very, very good network admin to be able to make decent amounts of money. So you've got to be that outstanding tech person in that company to be able to be excellent and make a lot of money. So generally what I recommend is before we even cover these five, these five roles, is it's always good to have a little side, side thing. Outside of your day-to-day -day job, have a little thing that's on the side that is making you some extra money, right? So what am I talking about? Well, here's what I do, right? I work in technology and overall I make pretty good money. I mean, I, I make good money, I think for what I do, but I got a little side hustle with my experience having worked in technology for a long time. I've become good at certain technologies, certain things that I'm good at. And then I can talk to people like you about those technologies. And that gives me a little bit of money on the side. What you're watching right here, this is YouTube. YouTube gives me a little bit of money. I've then got some online training. You know, I will say in my show notes, in my description below, I've got a whole bunch of training courses on Skillshare and on Udemy where I actually make money on that. I do other things such as affiliate marketing. I get companies to sponsor my videos and they send me a product and I review it and they pay me for that. All right, so that was an introduction. Now we're gonna be talking about the five roles, the five jobs that are in technology that will be guaranteed to make you a lot of money. Maybe not at the very start, but once you get into it and you become very, 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 very good at it, then you will be making a lot more money. Number five are your engineers, your DevOps people, your systems people, your network engineers, your cloud engineers, your development engineers, somebody who's not just administering systems, but somebody who's engineering all of that. Somebody who is making sure that they are building it, that they're designing it correctly, that it works well. The engineers are gonna start roughly at around the 120 to 130K range, but they could be earning a lot more than that into the high hundreds or even 200s if they're very, very good at their job. Number four are data scientists. Now that seems very, very prestigious. A scientist of data. Now, I did have another video where I talked about the most high demand roles right now. Well, number one, number one out of my top 10, number one was the data scientist. The data scientist is being sought after everywhere. So if you've got those skills, you're gonna be guaranteed to get a job and people will want to pay for you. Data scientists are gonna be looking at 120 to 130K, but they're gonna go up way, way higher than that if they're really, really good. Now a data scientist looks after data. They evaluate data. They're making sure that that data can work for the company. A data scientist who interrogates the data helps that business to make good decisions, to be profitable, to be able to extract that data, understand and use data analytics, anything that is data related across databases, across applications, across CRMs, across ERPs, all of these, making sure that it all works together to be able to get the most out of the data. Number three are security people. Security, security, security. This is something that every company needs somebody who understands security. I mean, hackers, malware, ransomware, all of these wares, they are everywhere. It's so uncommon for a company to not have experienced some sort of 
cyber attack. So people who are pen testers, people who are security engineers, people who are cyber security administrators, anybody who secures a network and ensures that it is secure is extremely sought after and could earn a truckload of money. You're looking at starting at around the 130 to 140K. If they're in a smaller company, they're not gonna be on a high pay packet. But if they end up specializing in a specific security technology, if you're thinking about a pen tester, somebody who is involved in penetration testing, somebody who will go out to a company and is contracted to hack into that company, understand about social engineering and how to hack in, they gotta understand the breadth of technologies. And if they're very, very good, they could earn truck loads of money and companies will pay for security people because companies want to make sure that their network is secure, that their systems are secure. At the end of the day, the worst scenario for a company is that somebody in real life hacks in, steals their stuff. So security people who can counteract that, who can write a nice report and say, hey, look, I found these 100 things on your network that are really, really bad, go and fix them they're gonna be earning a lot of money. Architects, architects, architects. People who are really, really smart, who understand point A to point B. So a systems engineer is one puzzle piece. A database person is another puzzle piece. A security person is another puzzle piece, etc. You get the drift. Well, an architect knows all the pieces brings them all together to form this beautiful puzzle. That's essentially what they're gonna do. There's lots of different sorts of architects. There's systems architects, there's network architects, there's solutions architects, there's infrastructure architects, there's enterprise architects. You're looking at mid 150 into the 200s and sometimes into the 300s, depends on the size of the company. Architects are gonna earn a lot. I mean, these architects need to really understand the whole thing, the big picture, and they have to design the network in the best way possible. And then my number one is tech managers. Now there's lots of different sorts of technology managers, of course, and some are specialized in certain spaces. There's a software development manager, maybe an infrastructure manager, maybe an operations manager, a security manager, DevOps managers, and they're going to be earning a fair bit of money because they're responsible really for the whole lot. An architect will generally report into a manager. A pen tester will report into a manager. Every sort of engineer will report into a manager of some sort. Other sorts of managers, you've got your senior managers, you've got your directors, you've got your heads of, your heads of IT. And then up the very top of the food chain, you've got your CIO, Chief Information Officer, your CTO, Chief Technology Officer, and your CISOs, your Chief Information Security Officers. But these chiefs are gonna be earning three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000 plus bonuses, plus perks, plus luxury cars, and who knows what else they get. But if you wanna make a lot of money in technology, this is a sure bet. Be a good manager, work in a company that is willing to pay you a lot of money, but with great power comes great responsibility because if they mess up, if they screw up, if there's a massive malware attack, they're the ones who are gonna be on the chopping board, right? And they're gonna be, they're gonna be out, yeah. There you go, so that's my top five. How do you wanna make money? Maybe there are things that I didn't touch on here, maybe there are roles that earn more than this. I don't think there are, but why don't you let me know in the comments below. And as I said, you're on YouTube here, so I would love it if you also subscribe. Click on the button on the bell. I release videos every single week on all things tech. I know that you will definitely find them helpful. But that's it, thanks so much for spending the time. We'll talk to you next time.